Wednesday is the 4th of July. Grilling over an open flame, fireworks in a summer sky, patriotic parades down Main Street, USA, and one overriding theme, freedom. But Independence Day is more aspirational than actual. We have long defined the American dream with commodities. A home of one's own, better education for the kids, a family vacation, and a car to take the vacation in. And if we measure the dream by acquisitions, we're in trouble. National unemployment remains above 8%. Wages have dropped, and the median net worth of American families plummeted by almost 40%. Financial security is important, but it is only an outward manifestation of the American dream. Freedom itself is both more elusive and more complicated. Our founding is not an acquisitions and merger story of young entrepreneurs looking to maximize profit. Or, or at least it's not solely that. I mean, our founding is an unlikely narrative of young men so inspired by an age of ideas that they threw off the yoke of colonialism and founded a free nation. Men who were embarrassingly imperfect. The land on which they formed this union was stolen. The hands with which they built this nation were enslaved. The women who birthed the citizens of the nation are second class. But all of this is our story. Each of us benefits from the residuals of oppression, and each of us is harmed by the realities of inequality. This is the imperfect fabric of our nation. At times we've torn and stained it, and at other moments we mend and repair it. But it's ours, all of it. The imperialism, the genocide, the slavery, also the liberation and the hope and the deeply American belief that our best days still lie ahead of us which is why my favorite Independence Day story this week is about a group who are not technically free. A class of 27 inmates, teens and adults, who received their GEDs Tuesday at the correctional facility on Rikers Island. Despite being incarcerated, they hold fast to the optimistic belief that education, hard work, and second chances are still the stuff of America and that they have a right to take part in the dream. Of the graduation, Corrections Department Commissioner Dora Shriro said, we are about rebuilding the past and building futures. So on the 4th of July, I'm going to think of the Rikers Island graduates. And I'm going to wave a flag without hesitation. Not because I've forgotten my nation's many wrongs, but because I remember them. And I am nonetheless proud of my country, not for its perfection, but because the alternative is too grim, the alternative is to give up on the dream of a nation founded in the belief, if not yet the practice, that all are created equal, all deserve freedom, and all have the right to pursue happiness. Now that is a dream worth celebrating with fireworks. And